Waterman's Museum was founded by a lady named Marion Bowditch. Uh, Marion was uh, the daughter of the Hornsby's uh, over in Gloucester and here in Yorktown. Uh, Hornsby Oil actually was on this site. And when Hornsby Oil shut down, uh, it, the land was actually eventually donated to the museum. So we're sitting on the old Hornsby Oil property and on the old Yorktown Gloucester Ferry property. Uh, the museum is dedicated to telling the story of Waterman. This whole area is basically a, a timeline up through the modern times in this one big room. This is Gallery One. Because we're the Waterman's Museum, we talk mostly from a Waterman perspective. So you'll see boats, exhibits of boats here. Notice as you go through here, virtually every boat that was specifically designed for the Chesapeake has no keel or a very small keel. And that's because to be a working boat in the Chesapeake Bay area, you have to be able to get out into the shoals, into the shallows, and do your work, because that's where most of the harvest is taking place. Of course, we have to talk a little bit about the Civil War era and the watermen that worked in that Civil War era. I would like to point out a little variation in what most people think of as history. There was no battle between the USS Monitor and the Merrimack. The battle was between the USS Monitor and the Virginia. The CSS Virginia was a rebuilt ship on top of the original captured Federalist boat called the Merrimack. Uh, but if you look over here, this is the evolution of the work boat. From the log canoe, you travel through the Brogan, which we don't have an example of, but to the Bug Eye. And then after the Bug Eye, the boats evolve back to a single mast to a boat called the Skipjack. Here, there was another boat, or another thing that came along at the end of World War II, and that was the diesel motor. So when the diesel motor came about, boats called Dead Rises started to get built. The dead rise, as you can tell, still retains a lot of the shape of the skipjack. It's shallow, it's got a uh, very high sides on it. It's basically a truck that moves through the water. Motors that were used, uh, outboard motors, and over behind that are some of the inboard motors that were used, some of the uh, single cylinder and dual cylinder. 